Yeah, yeah, well, those, those are the ones that he didn't pick. Mark, got, grab those over there. I actually just put most of the stuff in back issue the other day, too. Oh, I did priced, you? That was, it was in the box of stuff that I, that I priced up and uh, filed already this the week. Old, the old uh, McFarland stuff? Yep. And Eric Larson. The hell is she? Exactly. That's why I bought it. <laughs> it's Marvel Movie Classics or whatever. Adapted from the classic novel, yeah. H. Ryder Haggard. Um, yeah, they got a bunch of they. they that's issue twenty four. They they do a bunch. They do a bunch of them. It says that's 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 automatic. You need it. But my hair's fine. All right. I know you were eating. I don't want to get in your way. Yeah, some of this old McFarland Hulk stuff is awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fred Hembeck. The Brood. Worst thing in the history of... It's still going on in Captain Marvel. Yeah. Like, yep. That's like, why they're canceling that book. Like eight... What is it? Eight I issues of... Yeah. I'm like... Like I, you said, you hate them. I'm like, I could do two, three issues. That's great. Not this long. I think they single-handedly just want to cancel Captain Marvel. So they leave the Brood in there until no one buys it. Yeah. the fuck is this? Is that Moon Knight, the big M? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Is that first, the first uh, Dominic Fortune? First color. He used to be in a magazine. That's his first color. Uh, oh, what is he? He used to be in like the mag the, the Marvel magazine stuff? Yep. Like the the oversized the black issues? And white yeah. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's his first color, uh, color appearance. Ooh. <laughs> Hitler? No. I think I have that. Ooh, that looks really cool. That just um that's a, that's actually a new book. That's my source point press. It's um I brought him in I brought oh, him shit, into the yeah. You're right. Yeah. Oh, so this is what, a couple years old, if that? Um we're talking a few months old. <laughs> he who smelt it dealt it. Can I open this? <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is, uh, so he just, I haven't read it, he, so he just gave me that. Oh, yeah, but look at how, like, it looks old. Like, look at, they have, like, mm -hmm. an old Kool-Aid ad on it. Everything inside's old. Or no, not Kool-Aid, Tears of a Clown, <laughs> powder drink mix. Everything inside, it's old, and they just re, they put, they reworded it. So, you know, it's. Holy shit, this is like an, this is, this is like, like what you say, like one of those old comics that's going to take you and I a, have, a day to read. Yep, yep. Because, like, it's all pros like it's all word bubbles <laughs> the amazing moopy and wanky the spunk monkey <laughs> i might get this all right you want the first appearance of man bat that's not the first appearance of man bat you sure yep. yeah the first appearance of harvey bullock yep the first cover of jason todd yep doesn't look nothing like jason todd on the cover where where's jason todd like that redhead kid supposed to be jason todd i think Oh, that, I thought that was a, a girl. <laughs> so did I. That's Jason Todd? Allegedly. It's the first cover appearance, Jason Todd. That's not the first man bat, though. Isn't the first no, man bat, no. like, no, old, I'm old, lying. old, right? I'm yeah. lying. That's, that's the first, first, first Harvey Bullock. Bullock. Harvey Bullock. We call him Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. I finished Gotham Knight, so I feel like I know him. <laughs> Even though he wasn't in that a ton. Just enough to beat the shit out of the penguin. <laughs> I might take these. Hey, wait, I'll press them up for you. I don't know. I might. I don't know if I. Hold on. I don't know if I need this uh, mini series. I don't think I do. But let me show. Yeah. So I'll take. I'll take these. All right. I'll price those up. I'll yeah. price those over the for next week, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm kind of tempted to just do all the McFarlane Hulks that you have, but yeah. if you price them up and I don't want them, is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I think there was a couple more in here too. Yeah.
Um, I'll do it. I'll do it for some of my some of my good regulars first. You know, um, I'll let them see what I have before I even priced it up. They can pull it aside. I mean, and they're okay with they're okay with. Hey, this is what I want. Um, price it up for next week for me. It's not like well, I want it now either because I haven't priced it up yet. I don't have the time to price it up. I'll probably be pricing up right. later. Yeah. Um, and most of the time, you know, they need it. They want it. They don't. You know, they know my my pricing is never really absurd. So I never really, you know, so they don't mind putting something saying and it comes back. Most of the time they'll still buy it, you know, it's uh, um, because they they know they're going to get a fair price anyways. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll show it to I'll show it to the to some of my my good regular customers. Um, and then then I'll price the rest of it and put the rest of it out. You know, it's uh, I'll give, give them the first the first shot. I mean, you earned it. I mean, they're um, they're the guys that are they're the guys that are in every single week. Um, actually, keep it, help and keep the lights on. They should be able to see some of this stuff first before, before everything else. So you know, then, um, and then the rest goes out. We had crazy. Oh, that's. Oh, you had one of those. Yeah, I had one of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's actually pretty cool. Right. You never. I never see these. No, I right? never even knew Marvel. Came, what is it like? Their version of like Mad Magazine. Well, yeah, kind of. I guess I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Open, I didn't like read it, but I just knew that they had a just a goofy magazine yeah. back in the day. Uh, it was the seventies. Yeah, kind of um, like a like a. What did they do in the nineties? What the or eighties? Yeah, yep, yeah. What the? But you never see it, and, no. it just, and that's why it says, "Oh, I need." Oh, I yeah, just I'll take those. I yeah. just need to have it, you yeah. know, because because someone's gonna buy it just because it's unique, right? I yeah. learned from a wise man. That looks. I learned. I learned. I, Mike Wolf. Who's, I don't know. Who Mike, Mike Wolf from um, American Picker says, "Oh, if there's something, is he that, the skinny guy or the other the guy? Skinny guy. Okay. Yeah. If there's something that you've never seen." And you finally see it, buy it. Yeah. <laughs> because if you've never seen it all this time, you may never see it again. Exactly. I'm scared for the future of this hospital. <laughs> Look, I know that guy. He's from Futurama, but I can't remember his freaking name. Uh, Beaker or something? Oh. Oh, no, that's... Oh, Muppets. Dude, that's yeah. Muppets. Yeah. So, yeah, so he grabbed oh, some weird war tales. you see that one? Yep. I see you too much. Wow. That looks so cool. Yeah, I got a couple other weird war tales of creature commandos. This is great. Spoof was this other one too. Is that Spoof Bunker? Look at that! It's oh, Archie Bunker. It's Archie Bunker too. I mean, <laughs> oh, that that is Mad Magazine right there. Yeah. That looks exactly like Mad Magazine. So, um, so here is an old again, an old seven. Um, it's the only one that he had in the collection. If he had five of these, I would just bought them. Because, all, yeah. Just because I've, I don't think I've ever had a Swoosh magazine in the store in 30 years. I never know? even heard of it. Right, right so yeah. there you go. I'm only that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I don't have crazy. <laughs> I don't have crazy because I'd seen crazy before, but not here, you know, yeah. right? Um, and I think in one of the, I think it was in one of the price guides when they got pictures on the top, there was a crazy that was on the top. And that's, you know, it's like, that's oh, all you, you that's, yeah, that, that's, all, that's all I knew it from. <laughs> then he took a Godzilla. That's cool. Oh, Couple God, Transformers, just, uh, Marvel two and one, Marvel two and one, and a Moon Knight. <laughs> okay, those weird war uh, war ones look yeah. awesome. I love yeah. I love those books. I do too. Yeah, I do too. And that's he doesn't collect a lot of like old DC stuff anymore. It's just he yeah, likes Marvel, the Marvel. Right? Yeah, but he likes he likes their he actually likes the horror stuff. The, the DC horror stuff he collects. Yeah, the DC uh, horror stuff is awesome. It is awesome. Even now, like yeah. reading it, it's yep. like reading it like almost like an EC comic. Yeah, yeah. The horror great. stuff, the war stuff is still good. Yeah, I think DC had always done the best war stuff and the best horror stuff compared to Marvel's. So even, you know, even the Nick Fury and Holly Commandos. No. I still think Sergeant Rock and uh, the um, the Unknown Soldier was better than yeah. the Howling Commando stuff, too. Oh, that, the DC Star Spangled War is still, like, one of, like, I'll read, like, that whole, like, 50-issue run where they were, they were in, like, the land, the land that time forgot. Yes. Fighting dinosaurs. Oh, I love that. You have someone in, in, the, in, the, in the armed forces fighting a dinosaur... I will buy that every yeah, time. I'm hundred percent. I'm, I'm all for it. Hundred percent, especially if, I mean, the, they're kind of expensive. Some of them, but oh, like, yeah. I just, I mean, I think a little while ago I bought one for like fifteen bucks. I don't know if it yeah. was here. Yeah, I think yeah that was the was, one with the. Um, I think they. I think first they fought something out of the water, and then they fought a, a, like a dinosaur on yeah. land. Yeah, oh, honey, yeah, yeah. Okay, here. yeah. It was awesome. I read it before I priced it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. There was. I think it was like like. Uh, like almost like a the Red Baron type plane, yep. and then a, then a pterodactyl comes out of the clouds, and I'm like, 
Yeah. Right. How can you not read that? Yeah, exactly. No. Oh, yes. God. Yeah. So I think I think DC with that stuff knocked it out of the knocked yeah. it out of the park. I think it's still good a good read too. Yeah. And I even think the westerns are better than some of the Marvel westerns too. I never got into any. See, I any love Jonah Hex. I, you know Jonah Hex stuff. I loved it. I think Jonah Hex is probably one of the best. You too, Corey. Oh, yeah. yes. Really? The Vertigo, the couple of Vertigo books that they did, and then you go back and read the older stuff. It's still enjoyable. Yeah. Two Gun Mojo, yeah. I think I think Joe R. Lansdale wrote it, and uh, <laughs> Timothy oh, Truman dear. I think did the art, did the artwork. Um, and that was good. And then um, Palmiotti and Gray, Gray and Palmiotti, um, those guys together are awesome. They did they did over a hundred issues of Jonah Hex in the nineties and the two thousands. I think it went into the New Fifty Two uh, or whatever. Right. Um, but oh, they, wow. but they, but it, it, um, they stopped it and it started off into another thing, but they did over a hundred straight issues of, of Jonah Hex. And it was one of my first reads every, every month, that, every month that it really? came out. That yeah. Good? yeah, it was good. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll have to check it out. Cause I the, literally, I read like one, one comic and watched the movie and the movie was utter garbage. It stinks. The movie didn't do the comic any justice. It's uh, the comic was good. I think it was in the new 52 or no, it could have been Rebirth. Uh, with Joan X, he actually ended up in Gotham. He actually ended up in in Gotham at that time, but it was it was it was the eighteen hundreds Gotham, Gotham. Or whatever. like the old old school Gotham. So he didn't go like go forward in time. He just went to Gotham. Oh, where well, he, he he ended up forward in time at, at one point, but he was in the old school. But they ended up in forward in time, um, and I think Batman helped him uh, okay. because Bo he met Booster Gold in the past, whose machine was broken. Took him on a thing. Booster Gold ended up over here. He ended up in our time. Yeah, Jonah yeah. Hex went, over Jonah Hex went up in our time, and he was gonna get arrested for. Uh, he was gonna get arrested for carrying guns. He goes, "What do you mean? I can carry this gun. This is this is this is the way it is." But then I found out the guns that he had was in a museum. That, that or was in a museum or something that they had. I said, "Wait a minute, this guy is who he says he is. This guy is Jonah Hex." Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I think Batman. I think it was Batman. May have been the one that got him back to where he needed to be. Or I don't remember. I don't remember one hundred percent. There's exactly no. How there's it no went. trade paperbacks, is there? I've never read any Jonah Hex besides like maybe one or two issues and um, I saw the movie and the movie is garbage but um, both Corey and, and Glenn both said that the the actual comic is really good so if I can find like a trade paperback to look at and grab I definitely would read it. Glenn usually has really good recommendations for uh, trades. I think I saw something in here I might buy anyways, like an X-Men trade. Did you did you clean like these used to be up on the shelf, right? What are those? Letter forty four. Yeah, I moved them down. I'm tired of looking at them. I remember reading the first one and it was good. It was awesome. I can't remember it though. Yeah. Every president leaves a letter for the other president, and he got his letter and it was all about how we're going to be attacked by aliens, and we've already sent uh, and how we've already sent um, we've already started building a ship and, and whatnot to go stop it from happening that nobody knows about. And he's tell and this president is telling the new president what what's going on. And then we can take it from there of, you know, people find out about it, panic ensues, they go fight the aliens, you know, it's it was it was an awesome book. Oh, I got two drum over here. Do you really? No. Oh, asshole. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's good. <laughs> oh, jerk. Oh, definitely. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Um, you got a horror Winnie the Pooh. How can you not want to see something like that? Um, I've never seen the video. I've never seen the trailer though for it. Um, I'm gonna wa I'm gonna look at the watch the trailer right now. It looks really bad. It looks really. Bad. All right. Did you get louder? You know you're the first person I ever shown this place to. Why am I so special? Because soon. Christopher, you know you are. You should be close now. 
We're not going to find them. We will. Who? Piglet. Eeyore. We were friends for many years. And they're out there. Starting off okay. Starting off okay. Christopher. We need to leave. Now. I really need to find out what's happening here, okay? Been abandoned by Christopher Robin. Yes. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> and they've turned wild. This place is kind of cool. Um, did you see how it's a pool? We need to go. There's. Wow, that's a bad thing. So, so far, twice that we need to go. And he says no. Yeah, yeah. All right, so far, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say, um, this, uh, this could, the, the looks of this could be worse than a sci-fi, than a yeah. sci-fi movie. Yeah. Yep. I am still going to watch this then, but, but, but that, all it is, I mean, I was thinking we we're going to see poo. I was thinking, no, you know, piglet. Or, or piglet. No, but I, I was thinking that we we're going to see like computer animation or something like this. I didn't think we were going to be seeing, um, horrible masks. It, it, it's a, it's guys dressed up yeah, in masks. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. all this is. Yeah, yeah. That's all this is. That's horrible. It's, this is, this is possibly, this possibly could be one of the dumbest things that has ever been made. Both you and I have seen like three headed shark on the sci fi yeah, channel. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and that, and I'm saying that looks dumber than any of that, that shark stuff. That, uh, that, that, that movie with Brooke Hogan on the sci-fi channel where it was a shark that could walk oh, yeah. on land. Yeah. I think that had better effects than that. It's, I mean, all it is, it's, it's furries. I mean, it's, it's, it's not even. Not, no, 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 no. spend more on their costumes. <laughs> they, they, they do. Um, but yeah, it's a, it, it, Piglet was just, it was just a guy with a pink hat, with a pig hat on. Yeah. I'm pretty sure what they, they had a budget of $12. <laughs> Uh -huh. and, and it went for they like, went to catering. they went right they went to Savers and the <laughs> and the Salvation Army store to get their uniforms and stuff and they says all right here's here's how we're gonna do it we'll get two cameras um we're not re we're not we're not doing any editing we're just what, what's gonna go on is on and that's we're, this is the end of it we're going into the woods somewhere we're not paying for a location yep, yep. we're going into the woods and that's it that has to be one of the dumbest things I've ever I've ever looked at um I love I love Winnie the Pooh I'm a big fan that's why I I'd say man Winnie the Pooh horror that's gonna be that's gonna be great but it looks if you haven't seen the trailer look it up i mean it looks like it just looks like guys dressed in masks running around chopping people's heads off it's yeah it's it's it does not look good at all and yes the best thing about that one is you can see you take it out of the box and you can close the box back up and display the box that's awesome just too. like it's in there yep that's that, that's fantastic you can actually see your toy tell me that doesn't look like it came off the shelf in the 1970s that's a 1970s that's a 1970s toy the graphics the packaging and then once you open it up you realize how much extra packaging <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is this is the book that got me this is the book that got ghost rider got me back into comic books oh i know i like the fact that that's not a blister that'll eventually for the back to the I guess I need to, uh, I just, um, pour oh, that yeah. there. <laughs> Look at that. I need to learn how to, learn how to open up a, open up, open up a toy. Yeah. I don't want to play. Dude. Yeah, exactly. That is definitely a 1970s thing here. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> awesome. Any, the, the arms, the... The wrist turns, you can even stick them up on the bike holding the handlebar. Oh, neat, okay. Oh, that's so cool. So, Kenner got a dance. That's my whole collection. Of no, almost. Oh, what is that at the, what is that at the bottom? What is that, like a... That is, uh... That's really cool. Yeah, um, Big Bad Toy Store has them online. Should we lock the door going so you can play with your toy for a little bit? <laughs> That's really cool. Did you get that at Target? Or? I actually ordered it from Hasbro Pulse when they, oh, okay. they put it up because I didn't want to miss it. Yep. 
Yo, I saw one at Target the other day. I was like, that's so cool. I heard Target was overcharging for it, though. How much did you pay for it? 25 bucks. Oh, yeah, they're overcharging. I think it was like 40. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah, hearing. Yeah, because yeah, I was I like, I'm not, I'm not buying that for 40 bucks. I think you can still get it from Hasbro Pulse for 25. Yeah. I see you guys Target, and I was like, now that, I'm, now that I see it out, I'm glad I didn't pick it up for 40 bucks. Because it's, it's well, kind of small. Yeah, I mean, like, when you saw it, like, I mean, look at how much is the package is just vacant space. Yeah. The, the, right. the the motorcycle was here, the figure was here. Right, right. I mean, it looks fantastic in the package, but... It looks fantastic out of the package. Yeah, yeah. Well, and like I said, now you could just close, it, put this back in, close yeah, it up, the and box. you display the box. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. The, well, like the, the, the yeah, this is the Spider Man one. This is definitely one, right? like right, 70s, yeah. too. It's got four points but, of articulation, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the knees don't bend, the legs just nope. move up and down. Yep, yep, that's it. The arms move up and down, and the and the hands move. That's cool, though, the, sculpt, the flames. Yeah. That's really awesome. But then you got like the the ones, like I got you the, the Spider Man in the Electro that has that cool box. Yes. Too, yes. So you can kind of take them out of Yep. It. Really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. And the other nice thing too is like, it's a toy. You could give you know you could give that to a kid. It's oh, not yeah, going to yeah. fall apart. No, no. Like any action figure you get them today, <sighs> it's going to be like, oh, um, awesome. Dan, my thirty dollar action right. figures. And the kickstand works. Does it really? Oh. I mean, kickstand up and down. So, so I mean, it actually it moves. How old are you again? Well, it, uh, but well, she knows Matt, so uh, okay. I'll say Matt. Matt gave this to me. You know, it's. Uh, She'll yell at me at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop buying my yeah. toy. Yeah, uh, his wife is uh, works at the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Just practice your vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So we you said you got it. What, what is it? Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse, Pulse okay. which is like the direct. From them. And they give you rule books too. You know, it's uh, directions. Don't feed after me. Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't chew on it. Don't, you know, it's. Don't stare into his eyes. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Fins will come back. Yeah. Good morning. That was awesome. That's really cool. Now you gave me a list a while ago, and I've I don't know what I did with it, but um, there's three books you were looking for. Okay. Um, was Spider Man one thirty two the one you were looking for? I believe it is. Yes, this is the issue that appears in the Electric Company when Spider-Man is first introduced on the ep the show. Yeah, this is what the guy is reading to say Spider-Man's part of the show now. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So this is part of my nerdy comics that appeared in movies and TV collection. There, there you go. I couldn't remember the other two. It, the other two books you had told me though that you were looking for. I couldn't. I couldn't remember, but I. But I thought I thought it was it was one one thirty two. I says I know Matt. I think this is the one that Matt wanted. Uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Return Two. Dead part two yeah. It has the cover, and for some reason, on the Every cover, night. they changed the issue number, and like nothing else. It's like issue like twenty eight of Spectacular Spider Man, but for some reason they have it as issue thirteen with on the thing price. with a different price. Oh, it's, yeah? it's like why. Of all the things to change, like maybe you need to cover up Spider-Man or something like that for copyright. Right. Why only change this little thing up there? Huh. Have it I, remember back in the, I remember back in the time you gave me that. You gave me three, 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 three issues. And it wasn't Spider-Man. There were three different issues. And I don't remember if one was a Marvel 2 and one or a Marvel... Oh, you know what? There was a Marvel team-up I was looking for, but I got that. Okay. Marvel Tales 165. Because believe it or not, I actually found... You know, my, my friend who got me the first appearance of Molten Man. Yeah. I found an issue that took, that's like two issues before that. And the Marvel Tales reprints the one that's between those two issues. Okay. So I'm like, that. Well, I've I, added some Marvel Tales into the back issue bin. So right. if you want if you want to take a look at that. I think that was it because I found the the um, the Marvel team up I okay. was looking for. Yep. So yeah, if you want to check, I know I put some new Marvel Tales in there. I don't know if 165 was one of them, though. All right. I am looking for Marvel Tales 165, which reprints Amazing Spider-Man, I think, 29. Because I have an Amazing Spider-Man 28 and an Amazing Spider-Man 30. And I just don't have it in my budget to, to buy the original 29. H-I-J-K-L. No, here we are. 
Wait a minute. 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 Hey, Glenn, I don't see Marvel Tales. Oh, all right. Other side? Yeah. All right. You might be able to get a person's knee popping out on flight TV. One sixty five. There's one fifty nine, one sixty two, one sixty three, one sixty six. In one sixty six. Yeah, one sixty three and one sixty six though. Yeah, because I have the real issue of this. Although you know I am gonna buy those anyways. Uh, Spider-Man was the character that got me into comic books. I would get home from kindergarten and the old 66 cartoon would be on reruns. So he was my favorite comic book character. And it used to, when I was a kid, you know, between the Spider-Man cartoon and the Super Friends, it was Spider-Man and the Justice League. First action figure was a Spider-Man Mego. Love Spider-Man. I had a huge collection. And over the years, I kind of got away. Captain America has become my favorite character after uh, I read Secret Wars back in 85. Ended up becoming a huge Captain America fan. And just trying to go back to my roots, find some of the Spider-Mans. Because I never had... I had these Marvel tales. That's how I read the old Spider-Man. But, you know... Between floods and, you know, sometimes you just need the money or you need to reduce the size of the collection. Some of them have, uh, you know, gone by the wayside. So curating my collection, trying to get it a little bit smaller by buying more books. But, you know, I do, you know, there are people at work. I either sell them or give them away. They enjoy them. That's how I got into comics, too, is I had an uncle who, when he was done with his comics, he would give them to us. So I would go home after visiting my grandparents with a stack of comics, go flying through them with Spider-Man Justice League first. 40 years of uh, collecting, never stopped, never looked back, still spending my money. <laughs> Pretty much all of them. I mean, even the ones that I don't think are great, I still think they're decent movies. I know, like, the big thing was, like, the Justice League and there's the whole... Um, Snyder cut. I didn't think the, the the movie was that bad, but when you let's face it, a movie starring Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman alone should have been like the number. We should have outgrossed any other movie ever made. The fact that it didn't shows you that it wasn't that good. It wasn't that bad. It was still a watchable movie. I mean, let's face it. We've seen comic book book fans have seen so much worse. So I still think of the, the 90s Captain America movie that just kind of, you know, oh, we, we'd, see it in, we'd see it in the magazines all the time. Oh, big, big uh, Captain America movie coming to theaters in 1990. And then around 91, they kind of snuck out the VHS tape. And it was, he's not even the hero of his own movie. I, I really enjoy, you know, they, they're, their hearts are at least in the right place. You know, sometimes they change the wrong thing. Sometimes the only one I don't think I would sit through again is The Eternals. And I know, hot take, but that's really the only one. Because even after watching the movie, I still don't get a sense of who the Eternals were. Um, anything else? Yeah, I'm enjoying. I'm down for it. I just saw the trailer for Marvels. Been a big fan of Carol Danvers' character for years. And again, growing up at this time, uh, Monica Rambeau was the Captain Marvel. She was on the cover of all, you know, the Avengers comics. And it's finally, she's getting her due. I mean, even if you go back and look at the old, if you can find it, look at the TSR Marvel superheroes role-playing game. There's four characters on that cover, and she's one of them. That's how big of a presence she was back then. And, you know, a lot of people don't even, even comic fans, you know, think she's a, even a newer character. Yeah, she's been around for over almost 40 years. Actually, no, I may think... This may be 40 years. He appeared in Amazing Spider-Man Annual 16. I think that was uh, 1983.
what aren't you liking in comic book these days? Who? Mostly that the stories just go on for for too long. I mean, it used to be you could go up to the, the rack and I could say like, oh, you know, I'm going to try this. And you'd be fine because it was usually a, you know, maybe it was the second part or it was a two part. But you could usually pick it up and, and buy that issue and be satisfied. But now it's like anything here is probably, well, I'm sure this is, this is probably perfect. It's probably like all in one story, but you never know where it's like. Is this part seven of an eight-part story? Is it part two of an eight-part story? I think they need to just kind of start going back to, you know, smaller, more self-contained stories. You know, where, where I could come to this rack and be almost like, I can try anything here. But, you know, I mean, you got trades. Trades, you can go on the internet. I could get caught up and understand probably and, and, and know where this is, but um, I really wish they would go back to like, like right here. This is all one single story. This is all one single story. You know, this is probably all one story. Actually, Moon Knight, which is probably the best, it's the best comic I'm reading. I don't read nearly as much as I used to, but these have often been self contained. You know, even though there's a bigger story arc to it, this issue is probably, you know, a more self-contained story. The Punisher, it's been a weird story. It hasn't been very Punisher-like, but I have been enjoying it. Love the Avengers. Um, it probably is time for Jason Aaron to wrap up his run here. But for the most part, I've enjoyed almost all of his run. He must have given me Ghost Rider because I'm on a Ghost, Cosmic Ghost Rider because I do Ghost Rider. But, you know, I just hey. like having fun reads. I like fun reads. Well, you know, and I've I like, heard, I've what else? give you a good story. Exactly. You know? Where I've heard that before, I have no idea. Yeah. That's, although, again, that's the question is, what is a good story to who? Correct. Um, like... I'm not a fan of the new artwork that we're seeing in, in Doctor Strange, but I don't read Doctor Strange, so they can do whatever they want. But I see people on Twitter talking comics with other people, and I see them, they're loving it. You know, they think it's some of the, the freshest they've seen Doctor Strange ever. So, you know, it's good that Marvel is doing, and that's the book to try stuff like that with. You know, you try it with Spider-Man, you know, you're probably going to lose more readers than you get. You try it with Doctor Strange, you probably don't have as much to lose, especially when you're relaunching the title. I actually like, and I'm a big Sam Raimi fan. I know that's something Glenn and I disagree on, but I enjoyed the multiverse of madness quite a bit. You know, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, and again, I'm not the best Doctor, I'm not a big Doctor Strange fan, so I can't always judge. Same with the Thor movies. I really enjoyed the Ragnarok. Love and Thunder did get a little too silly, but I enjoyed it overall. But again, I'm not a Thor fan, so I can understand how like the people who are like more into the Thor God of Thunder and how his comic books have been portrayed were probably like, no, this isn't what I want to see. <clears throat> we're having our uh, regular Superman. This one hasn't been terrible, but... Mm. World's Finest I like. I do enjoy World's Finest. We're going to try the Superboy Man of Tomorrow. Superman Lost has been very good. I'm going to take the special cover of 134. And uh, Joker, the, the man who stopped laughing, they finally came out with this. It's amazing. This has been uh, running really late and slow, it seems. like I am going to put this one back. Not, not a big fan of Superman John Kent. I think they're doing what they've always done. Try to regenerate new interest. Oh, he's a new character. We're writing him different. Everything's going to be great. Tell me a good story. Hey, Kels. Tell me a good story. Stop that, you wrecking books. Tell me a good story. Just write me a good story, okay? I don't need to, I don't need to see this new flashy, oh, this is the new iteration of this. Give me a good story. I'll come back if you give me a good story. 
you know, I, I just really wish DC would learn to write like Marvel. Marvel knows how to write. DC is like, mm, we don't know how to do that anymore. Since the 70s and 80s, we forgot how to do that. And even the 2000s, they knew how to write stories. But now it's like, ugh. lately it seems like, what are you guys doing? You know, where are you getting your writers from? Because they're not giving me anything that's holding my interest or making me want to buy another book or another issue of this, another issue of this title. I don't know. It's just the way some of them are written. This one hasn't been too, too bad. It's an interesting take with The Parasite. Um, and I have to say World's Finest. I've enjoyed World's Finest. That I've enjoyed. But, you know, again, new, I have to find out. This has been good. Um, Batman, I've always enjoyed. But I, I just wish they'd give me, I don't know, maybe a little less grit. I don't know whether you'd call it just depressing kind of stories. And Batman is like, God. You, after you read one of them, you're almost like, should I take a, an antidepressant or kill myself? Make him a little bit more relatable to, you know, a normal person, maybe? Or some people probably think, oh, what are you talking about? This is fantastic. It's really relatable. But mm, I don't know. Maybe it's my age. You know, I'd like to have a little bit, maybe a little of the old hokey. Uh, you know, he's doing regular crime fighting, not, you know trying to go after uh, some interdimensional being who's trying to take over the earth. I mean, you know, some of that's not bad, but I don't know. It's just the the stuff they've done with Captain America. You know, that's an interesting storyline. It's It keeps your attention. It keeps you wanting to buy, gee, another episode, another issue. Let's see more, more of this. Let's see some more of that kind of story detail. Uh, the artwork almost seems to be a little bit better. Some of the artwork in this is awfully cartoony. A cover like this, that's cartoony to me. I don't want cartoony artwork. I want artwork so that it's real and it's realistic. This is more realistic. You know, this is a little bit more realistic. This seems a little bit cartoony to me lately. The cover anyway has been cartoony. Um, this isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. Uh, I don't know, this is fresh and new, so this artwork looks a little, mm. hopefully the story will be okay, though. Lost, this has been really good. An interesting story with good artwork. This is the kind of artwork I want, and this is the kind of story I want. Give me something like this. Now, what you is know. this story about? Well, Superman was off-world for 20 minutes to him, and it's 20 years to everybody else. Batman kind of has an idea what's going on, and he's got to get st stories and facts together. Uh, because Lois, Superman comes home to Lois, and she says, you've been gone, you know, decades. And, oh, no, it's only been 20 minutes. Well, something's going on, and she's got to dig out what's going on with the story. But this is good work, good artwork, and a decent story. This is the kind of artwork I'd like to see. And this is the kind of story I'd like to read. Give me something like this. They're not writing the way they used to write. I'd like Batman to be a little bit more human, a little less grit. But the Batman of the 70s, the Batman I grew up reading, that was, a, a, that was my Batman. I, I think he's a little too gritty. Lighten him up a little bit. You're absolutely right or help a cat out of a tree, or, or go door to door collecting for the Red Cross, or maybe even uh, roasting some marshmallows with some Cub Scouts. What do I want out of a Batman? Give me some of the grit of, say, the 70s, when he was fighting, uh, like, corruption in the police department in, in Gotham, or he was going after drug dealers, you know, but it was more relatable. It's like, okay, I, I, I know what you're talking about. You know, I, I don't know what you're talking about with this, oh, he's, he's you know, going after uh, the, uh, well, the, the story when uh, they're, uh, I can't think of the, uh, the character there. Lord Orgum, I think, is the, the, late, the latest iteration, and, you know, it's interdimensional, and it's, look, let's, let's get me something a little more relatable please you know I, I, I just don't want to do the 
interdimensional nonsense and stuff like that. Just give me an old-fashioned Batman, something good that I want to read, okay? And something that's a little less gritty than, you know, we're, we're going to beat the crap out of everybody and, and kill half the world. You know, the, the latest story they had with uh, uh, the Riddler, and, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to uh, poison the city just like Joker. It's like, enough of that. We've, we've played that card. Can't we try something different? Something a little more relatable? A little bit more old-fashioned Batman, maybe. A little bit more grounded. A little bit more on Earth. A little less out there than he has been lately. You know? I was not crazy about it. No. No. Sorry. I don't like the actors in it. Very depressing. I'm like, ugh. I don't go to a movie to become depressed. Again. I want to come out of a movie feeling, gee, that was good. I enjoyed that. That was fun. Uh, I did like that aspect of it. And especially when they brought in Wonder Woman, when he's working with Wonder Woman. That was good. Catwoman? Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that. But, you know, let's not have a total gloom fest of everything either. This is the Vengeance of Bane, Blast from the Past. Good artwork. Not a bad story. That was a good story, and it had decent artwork. This is kind of what I want. I want to go back to that. Please, can I go back to that? Shall I cash out now, sir? You want to? Uh, well, you know, do you, do you have any other interesting books, per se? I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, breaking my heart. Well, if you want something besides Batman and Superman, I could offer, I made somebody, but if, if that's all we're into, that's all well, we're into. No, I, so what would what would you be looking well, maybe, for? Maybe 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 some of the stuff from the I'm 70s that I used to collect. I had nothing prepared for Phil when he came in. Because well, you would even make it a point to do that. So well, I'm like going to tell you why I had nothing prepared for Phil man. today. I, I had a surprise. Was, We're going to have a surprise today. Mike Sayer, who is here, and I don't remember if it was, which episode it was on, but I was buying comics from Mike, and he he was like he knew everything about yes, Superman yes, stuff, yes, right? Yes. Well, the people in the the people in the in the comment section are like we'd like to see Phil and Mike together, wins. right? Well, no, I didn't know Phil was going to be in a tape, but Mike wanted to come in with some of the Superman stuff, and I was going to make a deal like if there was some out of that that I didn't buy because he brought a lot in that I didn't even buy, that if Phil had wanted it. Wanted, I would have put those aside and bought them off and then sold in a fill. So Mike said he was going to be in today because he's been calling the last couple of weeks saying, hey, uh, is Phil there? Nope, Phil's at his, is, is, is at his sister's house. Um, so I said he's, he'll be back this week. So I thought Mike was going to be in today. So I didn't do any special s pricing for Phil because yeah. I thought we were going to be able to look at a box and then we'd be and able I to listen. Over, right, and then we'd, oh be able, then we'd be able to listen to the two Superman guru go at, go yeah, at it. Yeah. And honestly, I think Mike is more knowledgeable of Superman than, he, than he, Phil. Well, probably he, not. He, he probably is. He probably no. is. I really, I really, I'm I really going to take Phil down in a, in a, like it's a possible. Jeopardy. It's, it's Jeopardy. It's possible. I, I think, I, I think you, sit. We are not chasing people. Sit. Uh, no control, no control. I mean, it's supposed to be a service dog. You can't even control a service dog. The, well, so well, so well trained. Yeah, this is this is proof that someone who shouldn't own shouldn't own a dog. Okay, this is this is this is. This is, this is, this is, this is, is you ever vest off? No. Do you not ask me not to have a vest on? Yeah, so we can pat her. The vest means I'm working. I gotta pay attention. Yeah, that dog. Yeah, but guess what? Even when you're not working, it's still trained to sit. You had to yell at it five times. I didn't yell at her five you, times. You, if there wasn't witnesses here, you would have been kicking it. Yeah. If this camera right now it. wasn't filming, uh, you would have right. you would have you would have actually you would have actually pulled her tail and kicked her if the camera wasn't here. That's something I do all yeah. the time. I know. I, I'm witnessing. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you say it like that just as a joke, but you're really admitting to what you were do what you were doing. I know. I've been I've been to your house. Yep. Yeah, that was with Sven though. Well well, where's Sven now? He passed from cancer. So you say, I think it was the, the three times you kicked him down the cellar stairs. Yeah, the hip went, you know, the hip the hip went after that, and, and I think yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Before his fifth birthday, the day before his fifth birthday, he jumped up on the bed, and he yeah. had a problem with his hip. Right, and then you and you kicked him <clears throat> no, for, for, coming, for coming up there? No, I didn't yeah. know that. And that's not what you're supposed to do to a service dog, okay? And it's your service dog. I think it'd be a little nicer. Yep, if this, if this camera wasn't here, you would have been kicking that dog. Awful. Hams it up in front of the camera, but when the camera's off, the that's when the bad stuff so she happens. Goes home, she's in a cage three sizes too small. Yep. 